All right, y'all, let's talk CrossFit Open. Let's get some questions answered and let you guys wrap your head around this a little bit better. So, Thursday night, in, in a couple of weeks, CrossFit's gonna go online and they're gonna announce the workout for that weekend. Here's an example. 21, 15, nine of each thruster and chest to bar pull-ups. So, the way they'll break it down is by divisions and age groups and ability level. Here's a few examples. If you're doing RX, which is typically our intermediate and advanced, it would be a 95 pound for guys, 65 pound for ladies with chest bar pull-ups. Now scaled would be a little lighter weight as well as maybe some jumping chest bar pull-ups. A couple other divisions that are relevant for our group is the masters, which is usually older than 35, but it's also segmented in five year increments. And there's also a teens division, 13, 14, one group, 15, 16, another group, and so on. And there would be a little bit lighter as well, and a little bit less of a pull up variation. So as you're thinking about this, whichever division you start with and choose, you are sticking with the entire time. So what happens if <clears throat> you get to the first workout and you don't have chest bar or many of them? Well, it's as simple as you're gonna struggle through and you're gonna figure it out. Or you're not gonna get as many reps. If you decide mid-workout, you do wanna scale that down because maybe call it for muscle-ups, that's okay. Your score ends wherever you did it as prescribed. Hopefully that makes sense. So how's it gonna flow? Well, if you're doing Friday nights, let's say it's me and Russell are here, and we're gonna partner up. In an hour window, one hour window, Russell's gonna warm up a little bit. He's gonna get ready for his workout and he's gonna get set up and I'm gonna have a clipboard. And I'm gonna count his reps. I'm gonna make sure he hits the depth and range of motion and all that. We're gonna talk about it. And I'm gonna be there to keep him accountable for getting it done. Once Russell is done, I'm gonna take about 10 minutes to warm up. I'm gonna get my stuff ready and I'm gonna go and Russell's gonna do the same for me. So it's just a partner flip flop, right? It's as simple as that. So with that info, start thinking about which division you wanna do. And if you have any more questions, ask away. But that should give you a pretty good overview.